I grew up as a Jew in the 50s in a mixed neighborhood with three churches, Catholic, Lutheran, Presbyterian, and a synagogue. I remember one Sunday, the Lutheran pastor was evangelizing door to door and asked if he could come in and pray for our family. My father looked nervous and not to turn the pastor away. How could he? He lived down the street, said, uh, sure, come in. He was wearing a black robe, a white collar, and a large crucifix around his neck. It felt very strange. Here we were, Jews, and this Lutheran pastor suddenly drops to his knees in the middle of our living room and starts praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, and then, forgive us our sins. I knew the Lord's Prayer since we prayed it in public school every morning before the Pledge of Allegiance. Jews sent their kids to public schools in those days, and we prayed the Lord's Prayer with our Christian classmates. It all stopped, though, when I reached the sixth grade. I'll never forget it. I came home from school one day. My father was watching the news and turned to me and said, See her? That's Madeline Murray. She's an atheist and got prayer out of schools. I didn't like it. But at synagogue it was thought a good thing since there was separation of church and state and Jews shouldn't be praying a Christian prayer. I couldn't see anything Christian about it except for the part Forgive us our sins, since Jews don't share sins with Gentiles. We had our own set of sins and prayed about them on Yom Kippur, but the Gentiles prayed about their set of sins every day. I was a kid then, and what did I know? I only knew that I liked the Lord's Prayer, felt good about praying it in school. It seemed to bind us all together and was sorry to see it go. I kept it all to myself, but felt a sadness coming on. We Jews lost the Lord's Prayer. It was my only chance to come close to Jesus, and I was left with a very empty religion. That emptiness didn't go away until I embraced Jesus himself ten years later. In Judaism, ten makes a minion for Jewish prayer. In Christianity, one makes a minion to be with Jesus and his Father who art in heaven forever. As for Madeline Murray, may God have mercy on her soul. She came to a very bad end.